Woo. Look here, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. One thing about Texas weather, trust me, I love my state. But I will tell you one thing. When it gets hot, oh, you better believe it's going to have some humidity with it. Mm-hmm. So you got to always keep your sweat rag. Always got to keep it with you. Whew. But all right, y'all. So today we're going to be smoking a cigar from an up-and-coming cigar company that's been out for about a year. And I'm telling you right now, I enjoy this cigar. So be on the lookout for this company when they drop this cigar. All right, we about to get into it. Kick back, relax, grab your favorite drink and your favorite cigar. We about to get lit. Y'all hang on. What's going down, Cigar Head crew? All right, man, so check it out. Today, we're going to be smoking a cigar um, by Up and Coming Cigar Company. And I've smoked their cigar three times. I've smoked their cigar three times. And each time, the construction is great. The flavors were great. And I said I was going to share this cigar with y'all because they haven't officially dropped this cigar yet. But when they do, I'm telling you, pick you up some, for real. Their cigar is made at the Blackbird factory. So shout out to Blackbird. I enjoy Blackbird stuff. They have great construction, great flavors. It's only maybe a couple of, a couple of their cigars that I that didn't really agree with my palate, but a lot of stuff they put out, I fairly enjoy. So today we're gonna be smoking the El Banchero by Criollo Cigars. All right, y'all. So I gotta give a huge shout out to Mr. Manuel Tate and gene molina those are the two owners the two guys that own criollo cigars uh thank you guys so much for for sending me for sending me some of your cigars man i really appreciate you guys they're nice guys and they're just you know um they're just two guys from the dominican republic that want to promote the dominican culture in the cigar world so you know hey man i'm i'm all for that i'm all for that man if you want to promote your culture do what you do what you got to do man I'm all for that all the way. So, uh, let's take a good look at this cigar. Very, this is a very nice looking cigar. Very oily, slick looking wrapper. Very nice, look, and I'm gonna tell you about this band. So it's kind of like a holographic band. Ask me how I know about holographic stuff is because I, I had a lot of Pokemon cards. I have a lot of Pokemon cards from when I was growing up. So I had a lot of holographic uh a lot of holographic cards and this band you hold up to you hold up to the sun and it just it, it it has like this reflection in it like a little holographic reflection and it's a very nice a very nice looking band i like the band on there very beautiful looking cigar very slick and nice little firmly packed cigar nice looking nice beautiful nice beautiful uh structured cigar man i really like the way this cigar looks very nice looking cigar uh very veiny very toothy as well very toothy the cap on the cigar looks a little rough behind the edges you know but it's okay you can work with that so y'all hang on i'm gonna tell you a little bit about it all right cigar here crew now this is a six by 52 ring gauge cigar so that makes this a toro size now it has a brazilian wrapper a sumatra binder plus it also includes dominican and pennsylvania tobacco in the blend so that's a very interesting uh, mixture of tobacco in to make up this blend. Uh, and I did mention earlier that this cigar is rolled and made at the Blackbird factory out there in, in, the, in the Dominican Republic. So shout out to Blackbird again. Shout out to Brother Jonas. I like what they I like what they have going on over there. So I expect this to be a very very well constructed cigar plus having some good flavors to it so without further ado y'all we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit y'all hang on pretty okay draw on this cigar cold draw notes i'm getting i'm getting i'm pulling some cinnamon and some dry fruit on here. Hmm. 
And that's all. All right, y'all. We about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Alright, so go ahead, crew. Now, immediately from light up. Nice, nice, nice little pinch on the nose with black pepper on the retro hell. I say the retro hell is about like a, a quick, a quick jab from Manny Pacquiao to the nose. Nice, nice retro hell. It's nice and it's smooth. Gives you a little bit of a pop. A little bit of pop. That's why I said it's like the that 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 many Pacquiao jab, man. Like he's just trying to, like he's trying to get you ready, trying to get you ready for for the, for that right hook, but it's not quite there. Dry fruit, still getting that dry fruitiness. Still getting some. I'm getting some citrus as well on the on 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 the palate, and I'm also I'm getting the, I'm getting tons of cinnamon, cinnamon sweetness, man. And a little bit of brown sugar. All right, cigar here, crew. Now this cigar is already starting to hit the sweet spot, so I'm gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down, get to the first third, and if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all, hang on. All right, cigar here, crew. Now we are back with the El Banchero by Criollo Cigars. Man, check this out. Look at that nice, compact ash. Look at that. Not flaky, just great construction. I, I was trying to catch it, the, the first part of the ash, when it was just stacking dimes, but it fell on me so I, before I could record it, so, but it's all right. But check that out, though, man. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now, flavor notes, I'm gonna tell you, the flavor notes have pretty much been still the same, but in addition to that, to those flavor notes, I say this thing is puffing out flavors, man. It's and, and it's all it's all just just making my palate happy, basically. I'm gonna tell you like that. It's, it's making my palate happy. So I'm gonna tell you the flavor notes. I'm still getting, um, I'm still getting like that that citrus, that like the citrus dry fruity notes. And um, in addition to those notes that I was getting in the beginning, I'm getting some some chocolate, some creaminess, getting some like some some bready notes in there. It's, it's giving me um, the flavor, the cream by the creaminess and that in that breadiness is reminding me of the Mbabe, the Mbabe Esteli torpedo. That's what it's reminding me of, and I like it. So, and also let me tell you about the retro hell. Retro hell, retro hell. I'm not getting a, I'm not getting so much of a black pepper anymore in the retro hell. I'm getting, um, I'm getting like a like a nice cedar spice on the retro hell. Very, very nice, smooth, creamy smoke, great smoke output. Nice, nice construction on this cigar. This cigar is doing, it, it's hitting my palate right. It's hitting the sweet spot on my palate and I like it. So I'm gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down, get into the rest of the second, third, and I'll be back if I have anything else. Y'all hang on. All right, cigar here crew, we are back with the El Banchero by Criollo Cigars. All right, guys, so let me tell y'all something. Hold on, look at that ash before I go ahead and tap it and remove the band. Look at that, stacking dimes, baby. Stacking dimes, nice, solid, compact ash on there. 
super nice. I love the construction on this cigar. Tap that ash, and I'm about to remove the band. So check it out. So let me tell y'all. Now, the flavor notes still been pretty much the same. It's just now the chocolate notes are even, even much bolder. Still get that dry fruit. Still get that fruitiness. I'm gonna tell you what the I'm, I'm gonna tell you that chocolate and that fruitiness that I get out the cigar. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these before, but um, I've had as I got a package in there now. I got a pack of, of these in the freezer now. You keep them in the freezer. They're called the they're, they're chocolate covered raspberries, and you get a mixture of chocolate and that berry sweetness, but you also get like a little bit of sour, just a little bit of that sourness. And it's not in the sour in a, in, in a good way, not a bad way. Not that sour like, ooh, no. No, 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 not at all. It's like a chocolate covered raspberries. That's what that's the flavor note that I'm getting. It, that's like, it reminds me, it, has, it bears a resemblance to that. That, that, that sweet and then kind of sour on like on the, on the little, on the tail end of the finish. Very nice on the palate. Not bad at all. Not bad at all for this cigar. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna tell y'all when this cigar drops, I'm telling y'all pick that pick the cigar up. I'm and I'm guaranteeing you, even with this, like with with the Brazilian tobacco for me, period, it hits my palate right. It hits my palate right every time. It's just that that sweetness that you get out of Brazilian tobacco. It's just it's it's solid, man. It's solid on my palate. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but it's good. It's so good. So, all in all, this is a great cigar great cigar I, I i really enjoyed this cigar a lot so be on the lookout for criollo cigars i know they'll be dropping uh they'll be dropping their cigars on the market pretty soon so y'all be on the lookout for them man so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna finish this cigar up and i'm gonna wrap up i'm gonna wrap up this review hey man look if y'all haven't tried it yet i say follow them on instagram at, at criollo cigars if you have instagram follow them on instagram uh, they'll be coming out with their cigars pretty soon. So make sure y'all check them out, man. Check them out. The great construction, great flavors. I say this cigar about full body with flavor. It's about it's, it's, it's about medium plus with strength. You still get some black pepper, you know, you get at the beginning. It's, but it, it smooths out through, through the rest of the cigar. So it starts out medium medium to full, but then it comes, it, 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 it slows down to a, it mellows down to, to, a, to a solid medium. So great cigar, pick it up. I say pick it up, man. So with that being said, all right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review. I'll see y'all in the next one. Give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops and I will see y'all in the next review. Y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoky. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.